So I wanted to give a little update on our aquaponics system. We've got some pretty good sized tomatoes. These on the end are aromas. Oh, do you like our uh, bird deterrents we've put up? Try to keep the birds off of the uh, tomatoes. Oh, these large tomatoes here are early girl tomatoes. And then, uh, let's see, we've got our peppers there, banana peppers, I believe those are. And then more tomatoes here. These are the blueberry tomatoes. They're starting to get this, oh, let's see if I can get it to focus, this blue color on them, which is pretty neat. And the vines even have a bluish hue to them. Uh, this arugula lettuce, it's kind of lanky and uh, stringy, not so thick like I thought it would be. Uh, mustard greens are here. More early girl tomatoes. These are sprawling out all over the place. I gotta tie them up a little bit more. That tomatoes all the way up on that one. Uh, these are aromas, I believe. More aromas. I've got three plants in that one bucket right here. Uh, Roma tomatoes everywhere. Mustard green, bib lettuce, bib lettuce. Bib lettuce. I uh, don't remember what these other. I think that's a bib or a romaine. Some more little lettuce plants in there as well. We've got bell peppers on the vine here, and I think the the reason that's colored all weird. I think uh, she got like purple bell peppers or something on this plant. I think that's purple bell peppers. I thought these were supposed to be a different color also, or they may just be regular standard green ones. This. Let's see, okay, this is a cucumber plant, and it's, the vine is taken up to this string that I ran up here for support. So it's starting to climb, and it's got blooms and little tiny cucumbers. If I can get it to focus, little tiny cucumbers. Let's see here. Some more tomatoes. I don't remember what variety these are down here on the end. But more tomatoes. Excuse you, Ziva. Uh, this is, I don't remember. Kind of looks like a tomatillo, but I'm not sure. I've got a lettuce here, a lettuce there. I try to keep some new ones started all the time also, so that when the older plants mature and die off, that uh, we've got new ones coming. So I've got some nice yellow squash down here. This, maybe a little bit of an iron deficiency here on this. May have to add a little bit more iron to that. I just put some in, I think yesterday, some chelated iron. Let's see, another tomato. Some little tiny tomatoes on this one. Uh, this is black eyed peas. Let's see, this one's already brown. We should have picked that already. I need to help these climb up, help train these vines up. I'll do that later today. This is broccoli. I think that's a pepper plant right here, a new little small one that we started. This is a variety of lettuce. These giant things here are uh, green tomatillos. And there's little buds and starting to have, I thought I saw the start of some tomatillos yesterday but I can't seem to find them at the moment but there's blooms everywhere I've tied them up so that the wind won't damage or break the limbs got pepper plants down here with little jalapenos more tomatoes I think this is another blueberry tomato as you can see the the vine on this one has that bluish color to it and the tomatoes when they ripen should be a bluish color another broccoli plant under there. This is a micro tom tomato. We've got our first little ripe one in there that needs to be picked today. Uh, bib lettuce here. Another bib lettuce there. I'm not sure what that white stuff on. Just reflection. And this is spinach right here. Uh, this is a squash, I believe. Squash or zucchini, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a new aroma tomato plant. And I have nothing right there. So that's just kind of an update on, uh, on where we're at right now. 
but uh, things are going pretty well, I think.